Praise the Lord God that greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, to be here this night to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation or world. I always say to my beloved and friends and family and relatives that we are living in a very sick and sinful world. But Jesus Christ says, he says, Lo, I'm with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome tonight? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty? Isn't that majestic? That God promised to be with us in every situation, in every circumstances, in every trial, in every test in every storm, in every decision making, he says in his words a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come by thy dwelling let's give him a big hand tonight welcome tonight my friends and beloved those who are listening to me from your living room, from your dining room from your kitchen, from your car from your office, on the street with your phone in church or right here, God bless you Richly, sincerely from my heart, I release a blessing upon your life tonight, and I pray that God will bless you physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, educationally, every area of your life. God will bless you tonight. Let me break it down tonight. I pray that God will bless your homes. God will bless your marriage. Yes, marriage with husband and wife. Not gay marriages. Not lesbian marriages. Not homosexual marriages. But marriages, God will bless with husband and wife. Because God created man and woman. No between. I pray that God will bless your finances. God will bless your business. God will bless you on the job and give you promotion on the job in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's give a big hand tonight. Hallelujah. Praise God. Blessed be the name of Jesus. My friends, I cover you under the precious blood of Jesus. For the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and the blood of Jesus is so powerful. The blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness. Tonight, my friends, every spirit of witchcraft and obia and demonic force season evil and blights and generational curses and stupidity I command to go in the name of Jesus I break every chain I break every barrier I break every fetter I break every evil and every work of darkness my friends tonight whom the sun set free is free indeed you are free in Jesus name let's give him a hand tonight hallelujah praise God thank you Jesus my friend Jesus said in his word the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing for he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes I am healed you are healed we are healed in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name isn't that awesome that God is our healer my friends 2,000 years ago when Jesus Christ walked upon the face of the earth he was healing all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and raising the dead. But before he leave this planet Earth, he told his 12 disciples, he says, when I go, the Comforter will come, which is the Holy Spirit, which is God, the Holy Spirit. And he will live with you and abide with you and the works that I do. You shall do greater, my friends. Why did Jesus say that? Because God, the Holy Spirit, was limited in those days. But when Jesus went, my friends, the Holy Spirit came on the day of Pentecost and the 120 in the upper room when the Holy Spirit came, it came like fire upon their heads, a fire form of a dove, fire upon the head, and they received the power of the Holy Spirit, my friends, the same Peter who denied Jesus Christ, three times he denied Jesus, 
That St. Peter, my friends, when God the Holy Spirit anointed him, he preached one sermon and 3,000 got saved. Isn't that awesome? Let's give God a hand tonight. My friends, that is why Jesus says, we shall heal the sick and raise the dead and make the lame walk and blind see and perform the miraculous. It's because of God, the power of the Holy Spirit. My friends, is the work of the Holy Spirit tonight. God has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, to set the captives free, to heal the sick and raise the dead and make the lame walk and blind see. My friends, this prophet standing here tonight, God has anointed me to do his work and his will and his purpose and no demon in hell shall stop me from doing the will and the plan and purpose of God in the mighty name of Jesus. And tonight my friends, if you're sick tonight and you're sick unto death and the doctors have given you up, there is a disease and a sickness that is plaguing your body tonight that there no doctors can help you. That sickness and disease that is plaguing your body right now, I feel a tremendous anointing of God the Holy Spirit in this room and that same Holy Spirit if you feel a heat upon your body tonight that God the Holy Spirit he is burning out that cancer he is burning out that AIDS he is burning out that sickness unto death that is plaguing your body that heart with a hole tonight and that liver that is completely destroyed that two kidney that is completely destroyed and shut down God is healing you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus, my friends and beloved, you will not die, but you will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny because God has not finished with you as yet. You will live and not die. And tomorrow, when you go back to the doctors, they will find no trace of sicknesses and pain and disease in your body because. God has brought a miracle in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's give him a big hand tonight, my friends and beloved. We are serving a greater and mighty God. For God has a, is a powerful God. God is an awesome God. Tonight, my friends, if you have cancer, if you have AIDS, you have COVID, you have diabetes, you have a heart problem, a liver problem, a lung problem, a kidney problem, a blood issue, a blood dialysis problem, if you're suffering from RSV tonight, if you have a migraine headache that no painkiller can help you tonight. My friends, tonight is your night for a miracle. If you have diabetes, if you have cholesterol, high cholesterol, low cholesterol, if you're suffering with arthritis pain tonight, all over your joints, in your knees, in, in your fingers, in your arms, in your elbows, yes, in, on, on your toes, you're feeling the pain all parts of your joints and using all the medication you can and there is no, there is no healing, there is no relief of that pain. Tonight, my friends, is your night for a miracle because the healing God is here tonight and he's going to heal you and set you free tonight my friends if you're blind you're deaf you're dumb you're lame if you're suffering from depression oppression frustration anxiety what the case may be tonight tonight is your night for a miracle if your demon possessed tonight and there is a spirit of stupidity in you and there is a tormenting spirit that's not only tormenting you but tormenting others god will set you free from that demons tonight god will set you free from that evil spirit and that forces of darkness if you're weak tonight remember when i'm weak then i'm strong god the holy spirit can help you tonight all you need to do is surrender to god and ask him to fill you with his holy spirit demons tremble at the name of jesus and tonight my friends i know demons are fleeing right now in the mighty name name of Jesus. Demon have to bow at the name of Jesus. At the blood of Jesus. Demons flee in Jesus' name tonight. 
will be the last night those demons are harassing you my friends in the mighty name of Jesus those demons will leave your body and never come back again in the mighty name of Jesus yes my friends let's give him a big hand tonight hallelujah praise God thank you Jesus tonight my friends I'm here to tell you tonight is your night tonight is your night and I'm going to send forth that anointing through the power of the Holy Spirit tonight my friends God is no respect of persons God says in his words we as prophet and pastors and preachers and teachers what the case may be whatever title you want tonight he says we must lay hands on the sick and they will recover but my friends tonight I'm here to tell you that God is no respect of persons yes there is no distance there is no barrier there is no limit where God and healing is concerned tonight and tonight my friends wherever you are tonight whether you are in the USA whether you are in the UK Canada the Caribbean or any part of the world tonight I'm here to tell you if you understand the language I'm speaking tonight and even not through the power of God God gonna touch you and heal you and set you free in a few seconds I'm gonna release that anointing my friends and God gonna set you free and heal you completely deliverance did complete deliverance, complete healing, complete salvation in Jesus' precious name. Right now, in the name of Jesus, be healed in the name of Jesus. Be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit. I see demons are fleeing right now. I see people. People are here from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness. My friends and beloved, it is the power of God. It is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Yes, you're healed tonight. Let's give him a big hand tonight. It's a miracle from God. It's the power of the Holy Spirit. My friends, God wants to do something greater. Four things God is telling you to let go of tonight that he can bless you and heal you and deliver you my friends but we need to listen to his voice before he blesses you tonight my friends god wants you to bless bless all his children tonight his blessings are actually reserved for us that's me and you god is a good god he is the God that blesses people tonight. My friends, we see this in the Bible time and time again. Today, my friends, we're going to look at four things God wants you to let go of before He blesses you, as in His child tonight. Your past, your past, and for the laws of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus have made me free from the law of sin and death tonight. Any child of God that holds on to his or her past cannot receive God's blessings tonight. You see many believers think that God does not want to bless them or that it's not the right time for them them to be blessed but my friends but that's far from the truth tonight i have seen people who have been blessed by god because of the of the past they didn't even see that god was blessing them living in the past will blind you from seeing all the great and wonderful things God is doing in your life. God is a good God. And the past to, to a lot of people is something that just always casts a dark shadow on their life. Let the past be in the present, my friends. Yes, tonight you have made this mistake. Yes, my friends, you have made this bad decision but what what the devil does it makes you feel as if you were the first person in the history of mankind to make this mistake allow me to give you some inside information tonight my friends you are not the first person to make the mistake or that dumb decision you want to be the last learn from your bad decisions forgive yourself and 
move on tonight. There is no condemnation for anyone who is in Christ Jesus. We have been set free from the guilt of sin and from the curse of the law. And right now we are under a new government and a new page has been opened to us my friends first corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 tells us so, so this, uh, this fact uh, by stating that we are a new creation in Christ, uh, therefore, loving living in your past uh, is like undermining the grace of God. Uh, my friends, God wants you to let go of your past uh, because it will rob you of the joy of your future. My friends, you are giving sanctified and holy before you are sanctified and holy before Almighty God. Uh, the Lord tonight, my friends, let, let me tell you, you're holy and sanctified before Almighty God tonight. Yes, your dependency on other people. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 5 and 7 tells us, Thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Lord, curse be the man that trusted in him and make it flesh his heart and whose heart the depraved from the Lord. For he shall be like the health in the desert and shall not see when good cometh, but shall inhabit my friends the porch places in the wilderness and in the salt land and not inhabit tonight. Bless is the man that trusted in the Lord. Yes, tonight. And whose hope is in the Lord. Each time you rely on people, you have indirectly said to God, I don't need you. Now just stay right there. My friends, I have someone here tonight. We do ourselves great harm by depending on people. Yes, my friends, first people are not reliable tonight. If you haven't realized that people are not reliable, just keep living. Just keep living and you will soon come to this realization. They could be sincere, but they are not reliable it is only God that can feel my friends every, every someone may promise to help you today and he or she will need your help for the same thing tomorrow right now he wants you to look away from people and put your gaze on him tonight you have a God who wants you to rely on him you have a God who wants you to count on him tonight my friends you have a God who wants to, you to depend on him. You are instructed in the Bible to fix your eyes on Jesus and not your boss and not your wife and not your children, not your mother or father, not on your relative that has money or on that government that we are instructed to fix our gaze on Jesus. My friends, Hebrews chapter 12 Verse 2 tells us, uh, fixing your eyes, or eyes on Jesus, uh, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, uh, for the joy set before him, he endured the cross, uh, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Right now, my friends, even whether, situ whether situation you'll find yourself in, don't need to see the way out tonight. You don't need to know how the story is going and to end depending on Jesus. Lord Jesus, I am counting on you to help me, Lord, tonight. I am counting on you to deliver me tonight. You have a God that cares tonight. God didn't create you just to feed you to the, to the wolves. God cares about you, my friends, and he is interested in you tonight. Yes, my friends, he's interested in you. He is the one to decide how to bless you tonight. He knows the right way, my friends, and the right people to send into your life. If you will trust in the Lord, <coughs> the word of God says that you are blessed because you make the Lord your hope. Give him a hand tonight. Your dependency on yourself. My friends, Romans chapter 9 verse 15 and 16 tells us, 
For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. <coughs> Tonight, so then it is not of him that will it, nor him that run it, run it but of God that sow it mercy tonight my friends get rid of your dependency on yourself the old I get, the more dependent on the Lord I'm becoming. My friends, the older I get, my friends, the more and more I'm realizing I do not know. I do not know the older I get, the more and more I'm realizing how deep desperately we need the Lord our God. Apart from trusting in people, you cannot depend on your wisdom, your wealth and power your fame or your connection tonight they are situations your wisdom can get you out of here my friends they are situation where your money can save you tonight there are problems that can be solved by who you know tonight none of these things can sustain you it is the lord that sustain the feet of the right tonight for Samuel chapter 2 verse 9 tells us he will keep thy feet of the saints and the wicked shall be silent in the darkness for by strength shall no man prevail yes my friends it is the Lord that give it the power to make wealth the word of God affirms tonight that the battle is not for the strong tonight and the Race is not for the swift, but that God will show mercy on whom he will show mercy. And you must learn to humble yourself before the Lord and acknowledge that who you are and all you have are products of his grace tonight. Hallelujah. You must learn to humble yourself before the mighty hand of God and acknowledge that I desperately need you, Lord. I can't get through this life without you. I can't. It is only those who acknowledge God tonight as a source of the rise, rising and attracts his blessing tonight. Stop depending on yourself when you can trust God tonight and have access to the wealth of his kingdom, my friends. Self-dependency is pride and God hates it tonight. Not a single person of this earth is self-sufficient. Your selfishness, your selfishness. Job chapter 42 verse 11 tells us and the Lord torn the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also the Lord Lord, give Job twice as much as he had before. Then came there unto him all his brethren, yes, and all his sisters, and all that he had been of his acquaintance before. And he bread with him in his house, and they bombarded him, yes, and confronted him over, over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. Every man also gave him a piece of money, and every one in earning of gold. And the life of Job challenges us to be selfless. Yes, we can observe that Job's fortune was restored to him after he prayed for his friends, not himself. Have you ever noticed that with all that Job went through, he still managed to pray for others? Isn't that awesome? I believe that some breakthrough come when we stop focusing on ourselves. Yes, and we pray for others. The challenge here is that Job's situation was one worse than that of his friends. Yet he intercede for them. Many of us are not concerned about what happened to people around us. We all seek is our comfort and the well-being of our immediate family. None but his, his attitude is bad as humans. We have this element, my friends, self-preservation in us. I'm the only one that matters. Me, me, me. I am what this is, a wrong mentality. Yes, today, my friends, I ask you, when is the last time you prayed? 
Yes, I know people who have never heard prayer for someone going through a tough time. Secretly, do you know that even after Job fortune? was restored he maintained selflessness those that used to eat at his table before his predicament returned to him and he fed them he didn't he wasn't hostile to them or oh, if you want the blessings of God in your life you must be set to use the blessing my friends to promote the work of God God, you must be look beyond yourself tonight. God's blessing are not your own. You were only a shorter of it. You want God, God to bless you. Then you have to deal with selfishness tonight. Deal with selfishness tonight, and deal with stubbornness and deal with stupidity. And you must humble yourself and listen. If you don't listen, you will never learn you will hit the grave a stupid and unwise person my friends it has been a great privilege and honor to be here tonight to minister the word of god i love you very much but i must preach the word of god i must speak the word of god god bless you richly have a sweet night dress i love you very much tonight in the love of god hallelujah i'll see you tomorrow morning by the grace of god in the mighty name of jesus amen and amen praise god thank you jesus praise the lord hallelujah